That's me and my brother Arlen, Jordan, 24 Slayton. We're in the house. And we're doing a special one today. Uh, I brought my brother on. He's the football guy. <laughs> He's a coach of Rosemead. Um, just got the gig. They did pretty good this season. Um, all right, I'm, all right. I'm just going to say if they knew how to ca- tackle in the last um, game, we would, <laughs> they would have won. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, just nervous, I guess, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah, um, here we go. Uh, we're going to talk about um, a few things we got to talk about. Um, what's in the news today, and well, not today, but a couple days ago. And we're going to talk about Hamlin and football. You seen it, Jordan? Yep. Okay, Jordan seen it. Arlen seen it. So, Arlen, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, how's everything been? All right. Yeah, hanging in there. Finally got you here. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It only took me talking so much crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now Jordan can't talk crap no more. He's done. No, I still can. Oh, he can. Okay. <laughs> Jordan's still gonna throw it in there. We got Kiki on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Kiki was doing do their thing. Yeah. Getting requests to come back. She'll come back. Yeah, I know. She says she is. We'll see. See how long it takes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're too. Yeah. Much. She She's said like actually, her daddy. No, she actually said she was gonna come back with her friend. Her friend's gonna come in too. Oh, okay. That means Jordan might not be here. Oh, nice. He's going to get booted. <laughs> I, right. could, I could be on that side. Yeah, he, oh, man, I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it'll be good. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, the game, uh, Hamlin, you, um, we all seen what happened. Yeah. What, do you, what, are your, uh, what are your thoughts on, like, what happened or how it happened? Like, what do you think? Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a bang-bang play. Um, the funny thing is no one's ever seen nothing like that before. I don't think that's ever happened. I mean, he literally, from from a, a, a viewer standpoint, it's a routine play. A uh, guy catches the ball, he comes up as a defensive player, goes to make a tackle, and if you've seen the film up close, um, the ball carrier turns and tries to, like, barrel into him. The reason why you do that because... You have the mentality you want to be the hammer, not the nail. Yes. You don't want somebody to hit you. You want to hit them first. So, you know, it, it kind of looked like, oh, man, you know, he he uh, ran into him. Well, he's doing that to try to ease the blow. And just by the way he hit him, then you see Hamlin, he kind of turned him and went with the force and he fell on the floor. So I guess just within that collision, I, I, something happened, but it's like a freak accident. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in our lifetime, we'll probably never see nothing like again, like that again. Or at least we all hope we don't see that again. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's just kind of like whoa, you know. And you know, you see, he got up. He kind of was probably felt something going on in his body, and he's just kind of what's going on, you know. And then he falls out. I don't think people were aware of it though, but he literally died. Like he died <coughs> out there on the field when he fell out, and he was lifeless on the on the grass on the turf, you know, it's kind of the reason why a lot of his teammates and, and the other the other team uh, players were kind of in distraught when they looked at him, they're like, whoa, you know, you gotta have a, a medical team run out there and give him CPR and stuff like that. That's mm-hmm. kind of <clears throat> like a wow, you know. Um, us as viewers at home, we didn't get to see all that because obviously they're not gonna show it. They're gonna cut, they're gonna cut to commercial, they're gonna do what they gotta do, but you know, they had to revive him on the field, like basically bring him back to life. You know, yes. and I don't, I don't really think people kind of grasp that at the time. And that, from my standpoint, obviously from me watching football from since I could remember, I've never seen nothing like that. I have heard stories um, when I was younger. I'm, you know, Pop, he told me a story one time. Uh, Jack Tatum hit a guy. Receiver caught a ball. I want to say played for the Cardinals. Jack Tatum hit him and he and he killed him. <laughs> you know, Jack Tatum hit a guy so hard he literally died. I mean, you know, stuff like that happens, but it's it's not common and it's a freak accident. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about like them stopping the game? <clears throat> I mean, for something like that, you have to stop the game. You know, there's there's really no no other way to do it. You're stopping the game for an injury, but then, you know, an injury or something to that magnitude is kind of like, whoa. Yeah, it's like that, like, out of it, just respect for the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and then um, at that point, from uh, a player standpoint, you know, your teammates, uh, your opponents, 
you're seeing somebody that was playing in the game with you and they're laying lifeless on the on the turf and they're trying to revive them of their life it, it's it's overwhelming you know you no one plays any sport and especially football to get hurt or expecting to get hurt you're not you don't play for that you have fun you want to be uh, tough you want to play hard um, you know, you want to do all the things you're supposed to do and you want to do them right and the best of your ability. Uh, we all know injuries happen, you know, but something to that magnitude, it's kind of like, whoa, you know. Yeah. So then you got to take a step back. At that point, I believe the coaches kind of was like, hey, we need to get our players yeah. off the field and get their composure back and all of that. And I just think when they went in the locker room, the coaches – had lost the players so much because you see that get into their mm -hmm. their thinking into their mind and you don't want to play football no more yes mm -hmm. well yeah because you know there's some like there were people on on the internet that said that why they stopped the game and yeah you know what are they can do about the game like right. they're really worried about the game getting replayed right or worrying about that instead of you know that person right mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, and i think uh, you know a lot of people got some backlash for that you know yes. people went on twitter and right away they're talking about the game but it's like hold on a minute you just did you see somebody just died you know mm -hmm. yeah. you know what, where's the compassion for that person and then his teammates and even his opponents that it's all a brotherhood mm -hmm. you know especially in the nfl it's it's all i mean they're all colleagues if you want to call it that and they're going to see each other and want to protect each other no, everyone wants to go home to their families yeah you know, mm -hmm. after the game and on all that and when something like that happens they're not thinking about football anymore they're not thinking about that sport or whatever the outcome's supposed to be or was going to be they're thinking about their their colleague that's mm -hmm. out there you know fighting for his life so i understand from um a fan standpoint as a fan you want to see football yeah so it's like hey they're stopping the game yeah as a fan i want to <laughs> see them play but yeah. then you got to take a step step back and see from those who are out there playing the game's standpoint you know and i think that's where it went and that's why the game was was stopped i knew from that point they weren't going to resume and i knew that game would not be replayed everybody's like oh well they're gonna postpone it to a later date no that, that game's not being played it it's over so i don't know how they're going to do the, the wins and losses on that yeah. i don't know how they're going to do it <clears throat> but no I, I heard they're delaying it like two weeks no it's canceled they're, they're not playing that game oh. again yeah so um they were talking about doing it at a later date but if you think about it you know the only way they can play that game if they play two times in the same week they're mm -hmm. not going to do that and then um you know the gamblers yeah well, they're the fantasy ones, yeah, yeah the fantasy, they're, they're people. fantasy people they're the ones like hey where are my fantasy points yeah you know just figure something else out yeah. you know what i mean or give everybody their money back or cancel that game off of you know the playouts yeah and then you just go from where you were before it started i mean you could there's things you could do you just got to figure it out but it's it's not going to be played honestly the team they could just hold the l like yeah. how you do when you get an injured player right I mean, like like that's just how that game goes anyway right. but i mean you know people yeah, the they, gamblers yeah you there's know. <laughs> but you gotta like you're salty but like you're gonna be salty if they got injured right right and I, it's just, it's just a freak accident and yeah. unfortunate, but yeah. you know, that's what happened. Yeah. So as you playing, like you playing the game before, you play college, and you know, you're you're a high school hero. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, high school hero. <laughs> so and then you went to play college. You're caught, like you know, you're you're really good around here. So what do you think as a player? Like how how would you like give us that opinion? What you think would be going on as a player, like in that game or? If I was in the game, if it happened to me or I was just a teammate of ours. If you were happening, you wouldn't, we wouldn't be talking to you. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so, not to make a joke, everybody, but anyways. No, so, yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. But um, from from a teammate aspect of it, I wouldn't be thinking about playing the game. Like, there's just no way um, I would have. My thoughts and prayers, obviously, would be with my teammate and his family and stuff like that. And what it really is, is you don't know what the outcome is going to be. Yeah. You know, of course, we all see injuries and things like that. But when it's something of that magnitude, it's kind of the unknown at that point. So then, you know, you want to sit there and just you you got to you got to take it in. And, and football is not 
not on the menu anymore. And then when you're not thinking about the game, when you're not thinking about football and stuff like that, you're not going to play as hard. Yeah. You're not going to execute. You're not going to remember. Um, there's a lot that's on the table uh, with these guys, you know, especially playing at that level. They're playing at the highest level you can play. And, you know, coaches probably seen that in their players and they're just like you know we got to call this one it's not gonna how do you out. think how do you think your performance would be going on like going forward um mm, being like seeing that like especially <clears throat> since like the bills are like one of the top teams right now well now now it's a little different for them so i'm gonna speak from the standpoint of him being injured um you know you got to get yourself together and, and and the game has to go on you know, this is, it's kind of like, I know it just, it just sounds harsh, but I mean, this is what you sign up for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we, we, you know, everybody that plays football or have played football, they, they know what, what it is. You know, you kind of know what could happen. You, you can't say, I know what to expect because you really don't know what to expect, but you know what you sign up for. And football is brutal. Yeah. I, I don't care what anybody says. It's brutal. And especially if you play it, play it at a high level. Yeah, if we're playing, you know, patty cake football in the backyard, that's that's different, you know. And it, it's funny how some people are like, man, I could do it. It's not easy at all, you know, in, in just that level especially. So um, I would just look at it like going forward, I would just have to get myself together and then just and keep going if another game's coming up, you know. And you try and block it out. So yeah, that well, you, you got to try and block that you, out. You got it. Because otherwise it's going to bother you. For the rest of your right, career. right. Mm -hmm. Actually, the rest of your career, because yeah, you're always right. going to think. No football player ever has went into a game or went into a practice or any of any sort thinking they're going to get injured or could get injured. We all feel we're Superman out there. Mm -hmm. We really do. Nothing's going to happen to me. And then just to try to uh, put it in perspective, when I told you, if you wanted me to tell you from a standpoint of being hurt, actually. Uh, of being DeMar Hamlin in his position. Um, I'm just going to kind of put it, if I was in his position, because I'm going to speak that way because he's he's doing better now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he woke up. People were surprised because the first thing he said was, did we win? Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people can't understand that. They're looking at it like, oh, my gosh, this guy practically died, and the first thing he wants to know is if we won the game. That's the competitive nature. Mm-hmm when you're playing a sport you yeah. know if you're really really dedicated and that's what you do i mean i guarantee you he had no idea he was you know yes gone yeah. for four days you know what i mean yeah. or going on four days he had no clue so to him it's like well did we win you know yeah and then it's kind of like a concussion you wake right, up and you're like right <clears throat> I mean, I, i've been hurt before i've been knocked out before i've been partially paralyzed before and you know when you're conscious and that has passed. All you're thinking about is, hey, can I play again? Hey, can I get back out on the field? You know, even players that get concussions and stuff like that, you know, you're not supposed to let them back in the field. Yeah. But they're gonna ask. They'll be like, well, my, what's my dad gonna do? My dad's not gonna. <laughs> <I> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't even want to get into that. <laughs> but, but I mean, you know, that's just the the mentality of the athlete. Like, hey, I'm here to play, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it, it, you know, looking at it. That's why those guys are playing at that level because they think that way. Yeah. If you think, oh man, you know, I got hurt. I messed, I messed up my pinky toe. You know, I can't play no more. I mean, it's not for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. for him, I just that's the way his mind was thinking. You know. And okay, so now as a coach, yeah. What do you think? What What do you do as a coach, and what do you feel like the coaches should do, or mm -hmm. what do you think they? Like, what would what do you think they should do and then what do you think you would do um, so I believe they will primarily they're gonna do their job mm. so their job is to coach the team and like I said the game has to go on so they're gonna get their their players prepared mentally and physically um what do you tell them like what would you tell them mentally to help them out to get because physically it's pretty much the same they, yeah they just yeah. have to get Right. There. Um, mentally, uh, you just kind of let them know, like, hey, look, we know what we sign up for. This is part of the game. Um, at, at that time, you, you know, hey, you pray and your thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family and you pray for him to have a speedy recovery and get o uh, you know, over this. 
now knowing that he's better, he's getting better, he's <clears throat> he's woke, you know, and things like that. Um, now you can kind of take a back seat, take a deep breath, and you know, sit there and be like, okay, you know, he's good. Now you can mentally move on, and then the coaches have to get them and help them mentally move on. So that's I think that's the next step that they're gonna do for their teams. Me as a coach, um, I don't coach at that level. So you know, <laughs> my, I mean, me, I'd probably be like, hey, all right, you know, season's over, guys. That's it. You know what I mean? Because I mean, if something like that happened, that would be like something huge yeah. at the high school level. But um. Just uh, putting it in perspective, I would just, same thing, I would get my kids uh, mentally together to keep playing, to finish up. And then another thing, too, is what you want to do is you want to motivate them. Motivate them to, hey, let's play for our brother. Mm -hmm. Let's play for our teammate. You know, he can't be out here, but let's be out here and execute better than you normally would for him. Yeah. And then, you know. Like kind of the games for him, the season, yes, we'll put the yes, season for him. And yeah. Keep you do it all for him, yes. you know. And especially if you win a championship or something like that, he's still part of the team, so, mm -hmm. you know, he gets it too. So, I mean, you know, you, you want to push that. Mm -hmm. I also feel like it'd be, like, a way of, like, uh, if you're playing, that's going to distract you from the trauma that you had to experience yeah. on the field. Right, right. And, and you know, that, that part of it you have to put behind you. You know, I mean, you can't go out there, like we were saying earlier, you can't go out there and just be thinking about, dang, what if that happens to me? Or what if I get hurt? I mean, yeah. if you start thinking like that, it's time to quit. It's time to quit. You yeah. got to gotta get out of it. Yeah, but there's also like the, like a PTSD. No, like you, when, when, like me also, when I started, when I was racing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pop said, when you start thinking about crashing, or right, right. Yeah. Turn, it's time to stop. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. think about crashing, that's when you crash because you're not, you're not thinking forward. So right. if you're yeah. not playing the game, at 100% and focused, mm -hmm. that's when you get hurt. And that's right. when things happen. You right. want, you have to be 100% focused on what you're doing. If not, then it's not for you. No, sure. <laughs> you, you got to give it up because yeah. you're just, you're waiting for something to happen. That's yeah. basically what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So you got to be, you got to play that Superman role. Right. You, you do. Yeah. You do. Um. So as a fan, you guys are both fans, huh? Yeah. I'm football. Yeah. Okay. I'm so, football, yeah. yeah. So as a football fan, um, like, what do you, how did you feel about it? What do you think, you know? Uh, from a fan, it was unfortunate. I mean, you know, it's it's the awe of the game. You know, you don't you don't want to see things like yeah. that happen. You want to see hard hits and, you know, big plays, and you want to see all that great stuff, but you don't want to see anybody get hurt doing it. You yeah. know what I mean? And when that happens, at least me, from my standpoint, I would look at it like, you know, oh, man, I'm, you know, me, I... Forget it. I'm done with football for the day. I don't. I wouldn't have really wanted to watch the game anymore mm -hmm. yeah. after that point, anyway. Yeah. You know, I know there's other fans that are like, "Man, get back on with the game." Yeah, you know, just, just get him off the field and keep going. Yeah. But you know, I don't. I don't look at it. I that don't way. think there's no <laughs> way. I, there's no way I'd be like, "Oh, he almost died." <laughs> yeah. Just brush them off. Yeah. <laughs> like, get them, move them over to the side and let's yeah, continue. Yeah. But hey, honestly, there's probably some people that were thinking yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. They so, really were. There's, there's probably a lot of people who had money on the game with you know yes. yeah. fantasy yes. football and yes. betting and you know that that's their team. I mean, right. even the guys that are that's their team. They're probably, but you know, the other team. There's there's things yeah. about it. And yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna, you know put anyone out there but i'm sure there was some people that were thinking not harshest harshly on him yeah. but just hey you know all right let's get, yeah. get over that he's good we got him off let's continue yeah you finish know. the game up right mm -hmm. and, yeah. and to me i i didn't see it that way i was just yeah. kind of like maybe maybe because i played the game yeah i, I see it a little differently <laughs> but i i just knew they were going to continue yeah. yeah but like at that point you're not looking at the players as human beings you're looking at them as, them as Pawns in the chessboard, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and like, and like seeing them, like, if you're that level of a fan, that's toxic as hell. Yes, <laughs> you're right, and, and I think people had to check themselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, they had to because they probably were thinking that way, and then it's like, oh, well, wait a minute. Yeah. When it first happened, they're like, dude, like, yes, let's, yeah. let's go, let's go. Yes. And then, then it happened, and you know, then he got, didn't get up. Yeah. Then he, and then after they're done, maybe they thought like, well, hey, maybe, maybe do we need to wait on this? Right. You know? yeah. Right. Yeah. Then the compassion kicks in, but just. Initially, they were probably like, man, come on, let's go, yeah. you know? Yeah. Then, well, you, then like, you find out what happens. Yeah. But, like, low-key, on the other side, as a fan, you already know, 
after this happened, the refs are gonna call everything. Like, no, it wasn't that bad though. It was, yeah, it wasn't. Um, it he, wasn't. all he did was well, not all he did. He went for the tackle. The guy ducked a little bit. He got him, hit him in the chest. Yeah, yeah. And then he like got up like nothing, kind of a little dazed. And then he mm -hmm. just yeah fell backwards. He yeah. looked like he was short, like he had a shortness of yeah, short like a guy. Yeah, yeah. kind of like ooh, you know. Yeah. And then he fell out. I just think it's one of those freak accidents. Yeah. When he had the collision to his chest. His heart probably just freaked out on him, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you know he went into cardiac arrest. Yeah. But th that doesn't happen, and, you know. And here's the sad part of it: this is where the NFL takes a hit, football takes a hit. Now mm -hmm. you get parents, you get moms that don't want their kids to play now yeah. because of something like that. I know when, my, I know for sure my mom would let me, let me play football. You know, and, and it's like, wait a minute, that. Mm -hmm. It's a very, I mean, your your child might even have more of a chance of getting hit by a car than that happening if they played the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's just a freak accident. It it doesn't, it's something that doesn't happen common, it just, especially that. Yeah. I mean, that is extreme. But you, you're going to get parents that don't want their children to play the game when they see stuff like that. And it, that's what I mean by it takes away from football. It hurts you know, the, the high school level, it hurts the college level, and it hurts the, the pro level from stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, do you think they're going to take action to make it a little more, or, like, I think they're going to take action moving forward on the game, or maybe, like, equipment, or, like, um, some kind of safety? Because, I mean, the chest pad, they've been pretty much the same thing for a while, right? right? So, mm -hmm. do, you think, do you think they're going to change the, um, <clears throat> like, maybe... A little more because they change the helmets yes mm -hmm. okay so and a lot of guys wear small pads on top right. you think they're gonna make them get a little more padding on the bottom um on the chest and maybe you know just to i don't think so i i, I think they they do need to increase the technology in the shoulder pads and helmets well they did helmets didn't they, they, yes, have, yeah, they, but they have then, I, I don't really think they made the helmets better yeah. but they yeah. put the mips in it right i mean and they, they, like, I, have you seen what happened to Tua? <laughs> well, like the, uh, yet again, that's that's another what you would say a freak accident. But I, and I, you know, I'm just speaking this way. I'm saying this out of my this is my opinion because I don't know the facts or mm -hmm. anything, st t the statistics to it or anything like that. But I kind of feel that if the helmets were better, if technology was better, they hit harder. Not only that, there wouldn't be as many concussions. Mm -hmm. I think there is just as many or more concussions now than there was when I played. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I deal with helmets now, and I deal with my helmet when I played. Helmets were sturdier when I played. Mm -hmm. They were heavier. They were bigger. It's like they had more to them. But maybe, they're, I know for sure they're trying to make the helmets lighter. Yeah. They want a helmet light. But, you know, if you get something light on you, if you feel like you don't have anything, you're going to hit harder. You're going to yeah. play harder. You're going to play more aggressively because there's nothing holding you back. But is that better or is it worse? Um, to me, I look at helmets and I look at the helmets back in the day. And I don't mean back in like the 60s, 70s and early 80s. I mean in like, you know, the late 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. I think those helmets had um, more in them. They were heavier, but I think it was more. I used to use my, my head as a freaking hammer, you know, yeah. when I played football. And I know for sure I've gotten some concussions, but um, from my knowledge in my entire career of playing football, I only remember of getting two. Yeah. You know, so um, I just think they could do a better job. I think, though, with the helmets, before when me and you, well, when I played football, mm -hmm. the, the interior of the helmet wasn't too much different than yours. Yeah. It was more of a dense foam. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, now they make the dense foam smaller, right. but then they make a little packets in the middle that kind of move. Right. So it's more of a impact impact. So it softens the impact. That's why they can make the helmet lighter. Yeah. And then the shell is made out of something different. I'm not the, I think the helmets before were harder. So they didn't flex as much. No, they didn't. Mm -hmm. So you probably took more. It of took the more. Yeah, and yeah. then plus the hard foam. So now right. they, the helmet moves a little bit. So your brain has a little bit more cushion. Right. But still, I think everybody's faster. Uh, people are faster True. nowadays, and then the collisions are different. Right. Bigger, mm -hmm. faster, stronger. Yeah. 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 And that, I think that's a bigger thing. But I think the helmet technology is coming along. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just what could you? It's different. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's different. 
It has to go from it. It goes from your head to your neck to your mm-hmm. spine, mm-hmm. you know, to your back, and then then it goes down. So that all that transfers in, right? And it's gonna it's gonna compound as it goes forward, right? <clears throat> so I think they can't. I don't know what else they can do on helmets, but like on chest, yeah. like chest, like the shoulder pads. There's very little on, on their right. chest, the, yeah. and, it, and that's, it, that's it's, preference, though. Yeah, it's right about like right about yeah, which right under the chest. Yeah, right under the chest. Right plate, under, so. and, I, and I think, but players, they don't want all those pads. Yes. The smaller the pads, the better. Yeah. You know, it's easier to move in. It. Right. Uh, very few get hit in the chest. You're not technically supposed to give your chest for collisions. Yeah. Sometimes it happens, but it's not an idea. Just like I'm telling you, just with Hamlin, that's something that's a freak accident. Yeah. He, if you look at him play on film from college to the pros, you can probably count how many times he was actually hitting the chest like that. It doesn't happen. Yeah. And then it happens, you know, on Monday, and look look what the outcome was. Like, but, I, I can't really tell you too much on, like, how football's been since um, Barry retired because I don't watch football right. no more. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, Barry didn't, didn't give you his chest. So, no, he yeah. didn't. You couldn't so, see it. It'd yeah, so, it disappear yeah. if you so try to get that's, to it. That's really, like, I watched a little bit of football here and there, but yeah. that's that's when my football I'm watching kind of yeah, retired. I, I get you. I can watch it on, like, some YouTube stuff, you know, mm. to how Barry, greatest ever. Yeah. Yeah, that's my team. That's my team, everybody. But Yeah, like, they also had those, uh, the disposable hem- helmets before. Like, they had... The technology to do those right. and like i well, like the idea behind those ones is like when you would make the impact it'd be like a you know how the cars like how cars kind of like a motorcycle back, helmet if you yeah. if you bang the helmet you're supposed to get rid of it and mm-hmm. get another one that's because yeah. well most of our our are most of the motorcycle helmets i said are because <laughs> i have one okay yeah. but they're they're like a lot of them are carbon fiber shells okay and a lot of the other ones are yeah. composite shells got it but the reason that is because we if we go down mm-hmm. like if you drop your helmet if it has a good collision, you want to change the helmet anyways. And I'm not sure how football works, mm-hmm. but if you're if you're hel- if you get a good hit, you should change the helmet, right? Mm-hmm. Because it, the integrity of the the d- integrity and density of the, I think they're composite. Yes. So that's gonna make a difference. Yeah. It's not the inside of the helmet; it's the shell. Yeah. So I don't know if they change the shell. I know in high school they don't. You wear no. the same helmet. But they, in, they in, give a, they, in high school they give a helmet a ten year lifespan. Yeah, see, and that Jesus. shouldn't be. Yes, mm-hmm. and then foot, and then the pros. I'm pretty sure they have a test. So you get your helmet, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure they check it to make sure it's good after mm-hmm. the game, if they even use it. I don't know, but that's what I would think. Right, because it's and all the collisions, even though even just bouncing off the ground and all that other stuff, mm-hmm. it takes up the integrity of the helmet. So right. I think you change you. They should probably change it because I know I'm supposed to change my helmet, but I haven't fell in a while. But yeah. Yeah, if you if you fall on your on on, on a dirt bike helmet or a street bike helmet, mm-hmm. you have you should change it because they could crack. Right, yeah. and then the next one it's just gonna you know fall apart. Yeah. Well, well an NFL helmet, well an NFL a football helmet. What it is is a lot of people don't like to, or players they don't like to wear the helmet new. Yeah. They want to break it in. When you break it in, it's, it fits more comfortably. You know, it's not as tight. Doesn't hurt your head. All of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you could change. You could switch out the shell. Right. And not the end. Inside, right. So that's probably pretty much what they probably do. They yeah. change the outside. I don't even think they do that. Don't don't quote me on it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never heard of it. I know in the high school level. You know what we could do? Somebody could probably check because they have a computer in front of them. Yeah, yeah, you could. <laughs> 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 but um, like like at a high school level, every year you have to send your equipment in to be um, checked. Mm-hmm. They do a recertification on them, and they check and see if the helmet is is good enough or in good enough condition to be able to be on another kid's head for another season. If it's not, they dispose of it. Um, the 10-year lifespan is, I'll give you an example. If you bought a brand new helmet mm-hmm. and you did not use it mm-hmm. once, they still will not allow you to use it after 10 years. That's kind of like, even if you didn't yeah, use it. That's kind of like the helmet on a um, um, uh, uh, construction helmet. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how many people ever check their construction helmet, right. but I'm sure there's guys yeah. out in the field that it have, has an expiration. They've had this helmet helmet forever. It's yeah. only five years. It's right. Right. Mm-hmm. right. It has a living. And even when you buy them, sometimes that is only two years. Right. <laughs> Maybe a year yeah. because mm-hmm. they don't. They're in the, the warehouse for so long. Right. Yeah. But <clears> they don't check them. Nobody checks them. OSHA yeah. doesn't check them when they come. Right. They don't like. Hey, let me see your helmet. They don't. And that's another thing that needs to be needs a 
well, that's it falls into that category. No one really expects to be hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, we're wearing this for safety, but yeah. nothing's going to happen. Yeah, if I'm know? doing asphalt, no asphalt's going to fall on my head. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And, and that's the thought process, yeah. you know. But. but there's also like the, I feel like there's also like the kind of greed, like, why, why the hell am I going to spend more money on a mm-hmm. new well, damn helmet? And, and helmets true. are expensive too. Helmets yeah. are very expensive. Yeah. <clears throat> my motocross helmet's like 900 bucks now. Jesus. See, $900. NFL helmets are anywhere from twelve to eighteen hundred dollars. Right. How much you pay for Arden's helmet? Um, I literally I just bought him one on Tuesday. I got him a Rydell Speed Flex, and it cost me six hundred and fifty dollars. And he's eight, nine years old. He's nine, ten years. Ten old. years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and but I mean, how much your helmet head worth? You know, that's, that's what exactly you look at. How I look at it. A lot of parents are, you know, they're like, why do you buy him a new helmet? You know, they issue helmets there. I don't want an issue helmet. I don't know what that helmet went through or how long they've had it. I'm going to put the best helmet that I can find, or at least st- statistically, I'm going to put the best helmet on my kid because yeah. it's very important. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I look at it. But so, you know, I mean, you can go spend a hundred grand on a car when there are cars available for 30. Yeah. So why are you spending 100 grand on a car where you could buy one for 30? It's the, it's the same reason. You know Lux. what I mean? Lux. Well, I mean, that. <laughs> it's, I get it, but, but you want that luxury yes. part of it if you can afford to yes. do it. Why not? So I look at it for him. Safety and there's yes. other stuff that you go for. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, that works. I think so. Um, so as, okay, let's look at the other side of it now. So Hamlin. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not sure he doesn't know too much, but like, what do you think going forward is going to happen? I would be surprised if he plays again. Yeah, I'd be surprised. And it's not because he physically wouldn't be able to or mentally he wouldn't want to. It's more for the liability part of it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, NFL will look at him like, I don't know if we can risk putting yeah. you back out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm just saying that it, it, it could happen. Obviously, they're going to, you know, Test them, and test them, do all the doctor stuff, right? But just from what happened, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just kind of like how from... It's like, are you guys really going to let yes, that happen yes. again? Yeah. You know, especially from an organization, from the NFL yeah. organization, it's kind of like, ah, uh, you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to put you back on the field. We don't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah. And that's just what I think. It's sad for him mm-hmm. yeah, because that's, that's his job. Yeah, and he's 24 years old. Right. And You're going to take his job from him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people think, well, oh, man, he's in the NFL. He's a millionaire. He's not no, a millionaire. No, no. Plus, he does, plus, his pension's not that great. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't have a pension yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, he, you he have to play, years. I think, for four years. Yeah. It's a four years yeah. minimum. You, I think the way it works, you have to survive your first contract. Yeah. When you sign an the next contract and Jamarcus Russell, I believe, messed that up. They don't. They, there's like a a, a rookie minimum yeah. you can you can get. Mm. So you go. You can't go in the league and sign for a hundred million dollars anymore. It doesn't mm. work that way. And and I think that's what uh, I've heard. They call the Jamarcus Russell effect because Jamarcus Russell signed for all this money mm-hmm. and didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, and then the the, the Raiders cut him or whatever and they still owed him money and i think mm-hmm. they probably are still paying him to this day mm-hmm. so they put that in place to protect themselves yeah so you know you look at that that's that's good for the organization but it's not for the player because there are a lot of players that pan out and do a great job and, and play well so from his standpoint you look at him at 24 years old it's i think his second year in the league he ain't made no money yeah you know what i mean he's mm-hmm. just He's playing his rookie contract right now. It's probably somewhere in the league minimum area. He's probably getting, you know, um, anywhere from eight, nine hundred thousand dollars a season, which is a lot of money compared yeah. to somebody working a nine to five. That's mm-hmm. just, you know, average working person. But then he's getting taxed on that. Yeah. So we know he's not seeing nine hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. He's seeing, you know, four hundred and something. And you know, there's just a lot that goes with it. And then he has no medical insurance. He has to pay for that himself outside of football. You know, football's not going to give him the benefits. The benefits and stuff. It doesn't mm-hmm. work that way up until a certain standpoint. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ob- obviously, he has benefits out there when he's playing. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, I'm sure there's some kind of package deal where, like a person who works a job, mm-hmm. you have to kind of pay for that. You know? Yeah. yeah. So um, there's just a lot of things from the business side that 
it's going to hurt him if they don't let him play again. Mm -hmm. And then if he, I mean, the disability part is different. Mm -hmm. And so if he gets disability, he can't play football no more. Right. It's probably not going to be maybe a couple hundred, a couple thousand if, dollars a month, that, you know, if, yeah, that. if that. So he's, you know, he's got to figure out what he's, you know, he might have to do something else. Or, yeah. You know. I mean, you know, NFL, if they want to do it right, you make him a part of the organization. You know what I mean? You show him some love for somebody that takes a hit. Or even the team. And go, yeah, mm -hmm. whatever it is, you just, you make him a part of the, or you keep him a part of the NFL family. You yeah. know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and you, you let him live his life out. You're yeah. still letting him live his dream. It's just not on the field. You know, yeah. I, that to me is the best thing they can do for him. Well, that sounds that sounds interesting. I mean, that's interesting. That's yeah. uh, something we, you know, a different point of view for right. a lot of people out there that didn't know. You know, and I know there's a lot of people in the industry or on news people that like got really upset. Like Shannon got really mad, and yeah. there's some other people that were really, you know, out. But those are players, and they went through the stuff. So right. that's why I thought, you know, if I get you on. That's one way of getting him on. You know, talk about football. <laughs> talk about football. <laughs> He'll come out here and we can, you know, just talk about it and see how's yeah. it going. You know, it was good. Mm -hmm. I think it was pretty good, you know, to get a different point of view. And Jordan threw in a few things, you know, because he's yeah. a super football fan now. <laughs> that's, that's right. Hey, yes. I, I, I like watching it. Yeah. Not like super into it, but I do like watching like certain teams. And I like mm -hmm. watching some teams lose, like the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you're not going to Dallas. That's why people are mean to you in Dallas. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why. No, no, no. Like, they didn't know. They knew. Hey. They knew already knew. They, uh, had, they had that. <laughs> they already knew. No, <laughs> they already uh, knew. no I, I just, now, now, like, with that Dallas story, <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't even, like, associate it like that before. I was like, man. Now it now it makes now it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> Why you don't like Dallas? Okay. <laughs> well, talk to um, big. Is Big Dad closer to Houston? No, I think they're right in the middle. Yeah, because Kalayn's in Houston. They don't get no, no more southward than Houston. South. Yeah. Yeah. South. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, all right. So, well, it was good. It was a good talk. You know, thanks a lot, Arden, for coming in and um, giving your uh, your outlook on what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good to have you here in the studio. Yeah, good to be here. Yes, get you here some more. I'm gonna have some more um, talks, and then we get your boys in here and we talk some other kind of football stuff. Some yeah, they more. Got, um, I got some. We could do some fantasy stuff, or or just some more football stuff. Yeah, yeah. Jacob, call you out. You can sit right there. <laughs> you can sit right there, Jacob. <laughs> Can't replace. And Jordan, come over here. Oh, nice. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, I'll put Jacob over here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure <laughs> you it out. You don't like me that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you got to be over here. So you got to be across. Oh, because you might start shaking your leg or something. Um, that's gonna mess bug me the whole the whole thing. <laughs> you know, you got a nervous tick. Dude, okay. Gonna... <laughs> what makes you think that they wouldn't do something worse? Jacob won't do that. Jacob be into it. Jacob might be standing up, dude. When he gets into it, but then you're gonna get. He's gonna be in your way. No, he's. I'm, I want to see Jacob. Jacob's gonna go crazy. He gets oh, into so it. Oh, so you just don't want to see me. Them two getting into it, it's gonna be just comedy. See, that's why we're gonna be here. They can't be next to each other. Uh. They might start fighting or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they'd they be like, no, no. You know, just going, going at it. They kind of like pops and him. Oh, dude. So I think almost anybody in him, they're gonna just difference of opinions. Oh, that's, that's a difference. Of, but Pop, it's not. Well, Pop is not a difference of opinion. He just wants to fight. Pop just to think of something like, and then you, you know, you give your point of view, and he disagree with you just for an argument. For Arlen, <laughs> you know, and then, and then it, Pop, why are we arguing about that? I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. <laughs> it's a discussion. I'm not telling you, you're wrong. It's a discussion. <laughs> all right. Well, all right then. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks a lot for um, watching. Like and subscribe. Tim. Jordan. Arlen. We out. The second. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. All right. All right.